All right, I wanted to do a little update video um, just about what we've been eating because I feel like people are sometimes curious about where I stand about certain things. And obviously, I'm still plant-based, personally, and I pretty much eat vegan. But I wanted to make a video about my kids, what they eat, are they vegan? Because I think some people have been asked this before and some people might want to know what my thoughts are about vegan kids at this time. So I would say my kids are not vegan <laughs> um, because if they ask for certain animal foods, I'm not going to say no. And so let me explain. So for a while, my daughter just kept asking for these little sardines in the can. She really likes those little sardines in a can. She likes the taste of them. And she was asking for them. And at first I was like, oh, maybe it's just like a one-off thing. So I was like, oh, not now, you know, maybe maybe another time. And then eat your lunch first or whatever. And, and she kind of forgot about it. And then later again, she asked again. And my youngest son, I think, was there that time, or maybe it was another time, and he was like, oh, yeah, I could go for that, too. And I personally, this is how I feel about it, and I know everyone who's plant-based has different reasons for being plant-based, but for me, I can't put ethics above the health reason of being vegan, so or plant-based, let's say. So personally, I feel like if the health aspect is there. Like if we are fully healthy and fully happy and the food we're eating is the healthiest, let's say like kind of for us, um, then, then it's great. I can be ethical. But if, if the health aspect isn't there fully, then I'm not going to put ethics above health. Does that make sense? Like I'm happy to be ethical as long as it provides health for us. And it's not that I don't think our diet is providing health. I think at the moment things are going really well. All my kids are thriving and doing way better than they were before. So I do feel like, and all, all the kind of problems we were facing are going away. So I feel like we're on the right track with what we're doing. However, when my kids ask for these animal foods, I can't, I can't say that they're not healthy because they're, I don't believe that fish and fermented dairy is unhealthy. I used to think these things, but I think it's pretty conclusive now that these two things are healthy. If you like to include those things in your diet, it's not going to cause you harm, I don't think. Um, there is potentially a slight association between the pescatarian diet and more cancer. Um, maybe that's something that needs to be like kind of reviewed more you know like but whether or not maybe that's an ex like a high protein thing or not i'm not sure but having fish here and there certainly is not a bad thing and in fact pescatarians seem to do really really well in the adventist studies and and things like that so and also in the adventist studies dairy was had kind of like mixed results but when they um, sorted through it, it seemed that the fermented dairy was not leading to the main um, hormonal cancer. So there's something in the fermenting process that changes the, the dairy food so that it no longer causes these hormonal cancers like prostate cancer, breast cancer, these kind of things. Otherwise, dairy is associated with those cancers more. So that could be why the pescatarian diet is associated with it because pescatarians eat eggs, fish, and dairy, right? But they tend to live longer. So kind of pick your battles, I suppose. Cancer runs in my family. I tend to personally stay away from those things, but I don't think a little bit here and there is a bad thing. And so when my kids were asking for it, I give it to them. I When, when they ask for it, I give it to them because like I said, if I can't see a reason that it's unhealthy, like if they want to snack on sardines instead of like a chocolate bar, 
I'll let them snack on sardines. Like that seems like a no brainer to me, but I suppose some vegans to some vegans who are for the ethical reason. And I guess that's why I have to call myself plant-based is because technically I don't put ethics ahead of health. If health, I put health first. And if ethics follows the health, I guess is what I'm trying to say, then great. That's great. Then I can be ethical in that sense, like vegan ethical. But, um, there's no reason for me to refuse my kids eating a little bit of fish and dairy if they want it once in a while. So that's kind of where I stand right now. Um, they have had only on a few occasions so far um, that they've asked me for it. And yeah, I've given it to them. Oh, and birthday parties and stuff. I've always just, I don't worry about birthday parties. If they want to have the cake and it has eggs in it. I don't worry about it. If they want to have whatever. I think my daughter even had meat last birthday party. <laughs> um, because I don't try to scare my kids away from eating these things. Like I'd rather them come to their own conclusions about it. If they do think that these things are something they want to avoid later on in life, that's fine. That's I can teach them how to do it healthfully and what to supplement and what to do in terms of that stuff. But, um, yeah, so, so birthday parties, I, I don't worry about it. And once in a while treats, I don't worry about it. Um, I can't say this is like a huge part of their diet because it's not, <laughs> it's not really like a huge part of their diet. And I wouldn't say that's what's making the most difference right now. I would say right now, um, supplementing with calcium seems to be really, really helping my daughter. And I think I'm going to do another video on that and, um, just making sure they're getting enough protein fats and stuff like that. Not being super dogmatic about anything, stopping the green smoothies and anything like that, making sure their smoothies are like, I'd still do smoothies, but my older kids get beans in their smoothie. I know it sounds kind of gross, but they actually really like it. Apparently it tastes like chocolate milk. Um, the way I make it with carob and dates and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of like those, you can make chickpea cookies and stuff and black bean brownies and all that. And it, it tastes good. So that's kind of what I kind of adopted for their smoothie. And so I make sure they're having protein. I make sure that they're not overdoing the oxalates. I make sure they're not overdoing the goitrogens or at least they're being cooked and make sure they have a source of iodine and I make sure that if there's anything that my kids are just not good at eating I find a lot of kids sometimes they're just like maybe in a vegan diet you can get enough calcium you know maybe without any kind of calcium supplementation but if my kids just kind of suck at eating those things which I think a lot of kids do like how many kids like brussels sprouts <laughs> you know um, or broccoli or lots of kale, like most kids don't, right? And they shouldn't be eating it too much of it raw in the first place. <laughs> but um, then you supplement it. Like if, if they're not going to eat seaweed every day, you need to supplement iodine if, or if they are not going to take a pill. Like I take a kelp pill, but I'm not going to give my kids a kelp pill. So then you have to just supplement it or provide them a source somehow. But um, that's kind of how I go about our plant-based diet these days. I make sure they're getting everything they need and I'm not going to be vegan for ethical reasons. I'm not even going to call myself vegan because I know it bothers some vegans. Um, so I don't even care about the label. I don't need to be vegan. I just want to be plant-based because I still do think it's a healthy way of eating. So many studies show that plant-based is good but it doesn't mean it has to not include any animal products and personally like I'm still vegan and I still feel good and I don't feel like I need to add fish or dairy or anything like that because I feel like I'm getting everything I need from my plant-based diet I do supplement now with um algae for myself um and my my two older kids but my younger son um has had seizures with seaweed so we can't do that yet but so i feel like 
and for him to have a little bit of fish, it's not a big deal either, right? If he's not getting that algae. Um, but also just focus on different sources for him and he seems fine. But that's kind of how I go about it. Um, so I don't know if anyone has any questions, but uh, technically my kids are not vegan. They're highly plant-based or whatever you want to call it, but they are not vegan. And if they request those things, I will give it to them. Meat, like red meat, processed meat. I would probably say no, actually, to processed meat. Um, red meat, I don't know. We'd have to, I'd have to think, think about it more, but they haven't asked for it. They don't really care for it. And like I said, I feel like we're getting enough of everything. I feel like I'm getting enough protein. I feel like they're getting enough protein and good fats. They're growing properly. So, um, so yeah, so that's how I go about it. And, um, I will leave it to you guys to ask any questions below and I will see you in another video.